Question and answers for mechanical for oil and gas part 2. Before see that, please subscribe oil and gas professional and keep in touch with us. Different equipment. Mechanical equipment is used to start, stop, heat, cool, liquefy, vaporize, transfer, store, mix or separate the commodity flowing through the piping system. What is an accumulator or vessel? It is a cylindrical shaped storage tank whose long axis is parallel to the horizon. It is used primarily as a receiving and collecting container for liquids and therefore has no internal moving parts. Support silos are welded on the underside of the vessel to prevent it from rolling off its concrete foundation. A nozzle on the top of the vessel allows liquids to enter the fill the vessel. A nozzle on the bottom allows the liquids to be drawn out. Smaller nozzles can be used for venting and instrumentation attachment. Instruments are needed to measure the level of the commodity within the vessel. A large diameter nozzle, typically 18 inch ID, called a man bay, provides an entrance for a worker into the vessel for internal inspection and maintenance. Explain fractional distillation or vertical vessel. Vertical vessel fractionations columns is a cylindrical vessel whose long axis is perpendicular to the horizon. Some vertical vessels can exceed 200 feet in height. Fractionations columns have internal plates called trays that aid in the separation and collection of the various molecular compounds of a feedstock. The process of breaking down a feedstock into its molecular compounds is called fractional distillation. After further refinement and processing, these compounds will become byproducts such as diesel, gasoline, kerosene, and many others. What does a pump do? Pumps are used to move fluids under pressure from one location to another. Pumps accelerate the speed at which a commodity travels within a pipe, thereby increasing its rate of flow. Pumps used in piping facilities will be one of the following classifications centrifugal, reciprocating, or rotary. What are the five pump nozzle configurations? Pump nozzle arrangements Side section, side discharge Top section, top discharge Side section, top discharge End section, top discharge End section, end discharge What are the three types of pump drivers? All pumps require a starting device to function. These devices are known as drivers. The driver is connected to the pump via rotating shaft. An electric motor is the most commonly used driver. Another one steam turbine and diesel engine. What does a compressor do? A compressor is similar to the pump, but it's designed to move air gases or vapors rather than liquids. 
A compressor is used to increase the rate at which a gaseous commodity flows from one location to another. Gases, unlike liquids, are elastic and must be compressed in order to control their flow characteristics. Like pumps, compressors are manufactured in centrifugal, reciprocating, and rotary configurations. Describe the function of an exchanger. Its purpose in a piping facilities is to transfer heat from one commodity to another. Whether the objective is to heat a liquid to a desired temperature or cool a product for final storage, the exchanger can accomplish both. Exchangers do not mix commodities together, but rather transfer heat through contact with a surface of a different temperature. How does a cooling tower perform its function? A cooling tower is a mechanical device that will lower the temperature of cooling water. Cooling towers are uniquely designed to dissipate heat gain by evaporating specific amounts of aerated water that has been circulated through an air induced tower. Although there is a significant amount to drift, the amount of water loss during aerating and evaporation seconds. Cooling towers are extremely efficient and are widely used. What internal device is used as a separator and collector of molecules in a fractionation column? The horizontal trays. Which direction do light and heavy molecules travel within a fractionation column? Heavy byproducts such as asphalt and tar come off the bottom of the column as a residue. As temperatures begin to decrease, heavy oil products which include fuel and lubricating oils or extractor. At higher elevations in the column, light oil products such as diesel, fuel and kerosene are removed. Above the kerosene, heavy naphtha. Please share the video. Please subscribe Iron Gas Professional. Thank you.